I need you to listen closely, because there is something important I must prepare you for. Your name will soon be involved in a family controversy, and this will happen because of something you didn't do. Perhaps you've already felt the tension building, or maybe you're unaware of how this situation has been brewing beneath the surface. But it's crucial that you understand what's happening, because I want to guide you through it. I want you to be ready, not caught off guard. There are times when silence or inaction can be misinterpreted by those around you. You may have thought that by staying neutral or not getting involved, you were avoiding conflict. But in this case, your silence or lack of response may have been seen as something else, something that's now causing misunderstandings. The controversy is coming, but I am not leaving you to face it alone. I will give you the wisdom and grace to navigate this moment with peace. Your family is about to be shaken by this controversy, and while your name will be drawn into it, I want you to remember that your identity is secure in me. No matter what accusations or misunderstandings arise, nothing can change who you are in my eyes. I am calling you to stand firm in that truth. You may feel the pressure to defend yourself, but I want you to pause and seek my guidance before you respond. I will help you see clearly through the noise. The people around you may be quick to point fingers or make assumptions, especially in moments of conflict. But I see the bigger picture. I know your heart, and I know the intentions behind your actions, or lack of actions. Others may not fully understand why you didn't step in or why you remained silent, but I do. And while this controversy will stir things up, I want you to trust that I will work it out for your good. Sometimes, what seems like a storm is actually a path toward healing. This controversy has deeper roots than what's visible on the surface. It's not just about what you did or didn't do, it's about unhealed wounds, unspoken frustrations, and unresolved issues within your family. These things have been simmering for a long time, and now they are being brought to the surface. It may feel overwhelming at first, but I am using this moment to bring light to the darkness, to expose what needs to be healed. I am asking you to remain calm, even as emotions rise around you. If you believe that God is preparing you for this situation, write 757 and declare your trust in His wisdom to guide you. The controversy will not be easy, but it will reveal things that have been hidden for too long. People may say things that surprise or hurt you, but I want you to remember that these words are often coming from places of pain and confusion. Don't take them personally. I am asking you to approach this situation with a heart of understanding, to look beyond the surface of the conflict and see the deeper needs of those involved. This is not just about you, it's about healing the broken places in your family. You may feel tempted to defend yourself immediately, to explain why you didn't act or speak sooner. But I am asking you to wait. There will be a time for you to speak, but first, I need you to listen. Listen to what's being said, even if it's uncomfortable. Let me guide your heart in your words. I will give you the discernment to know when and how to respond. The right words at the right time can bring peace where there was once division. The controversy will expose vulnerabilities, both in you and in those around you. But vulnerability isn't a weakness, it's an opportunity for growth. I want you to lean into this moment to allow yourself to feel the emotions that arise without letting them control you. Your feelings are valid, but I want you to bring them to me. Let me help you process what's happening. Together, we will walk through this storm and you will come out stronger on the other side. This moment, though challenging, is also a chance for reconciliation. The things that will be said during this controversy might sting, but they are opening the door to conversations that have been avoided for too long. Healing cannot happen without truth being spoken, and while the truth can sometimes hurt, it is the key to freedom. I am asking you to be a vessel of my peace in this situation. 
Even when it feels like everything is falling apart, I am holding it all together. I know that you may be wondering why this is happening now, why this controversy is surfacing at this moment. It might feel unfair, like a storm you didn't ask for, but I want you to trust my timing. I am bringing things to the surface because they can no longer stay hidden. This is a moment for healing, for truth, and for reconciliation. It won't be easy, but I will be with you every step of the way. You are not alone in this. If you believe that God is working through this controversy for healing and truth, write 824 and rest in his plan for reconciliation. As the controversy unfolds, you may notice that some family members are quicker to blame or judge than others. They may accuse you of things that aren't true or misunderstand your intentions. It's going to feel uncomfortable, but I want you to remember that their reactions are not about you. They are reacting to their own pain, their own frustrations, and their own unmet expectations. This controversy is bringing those things to light, and while it may feel like an attack, it's really a cry for help. I know it's difficult to stay calm when your name is being drawn into something you didn't cause. But I want you to remember that your peace comes from me, not from the opinions of others. You don't need to prove yourself to them because I already know your heart. I see everything clearly, and I will vindicate you in my time. Your job is not to fight every accusation, but to trust me to handle it. Stay rooted in my peace, even when others try to pull you into their chaos. This controversy could lead to division if it's not handled with wisdom. That's why I'm asking you to be the one who brings calm to the situation. I know that feels like a heavy burden, but I wouldn't ask you to do it if I didn't also give you the strength to carry it. When emotions run high and tempers flare, I will give you the words to speak peace into the situation. Your calm, steady presence will make a bigger impact than you realize. You may feel pressure to take sides, but I am asking you to remain impartial. This doesn't mean you're avoiding the issue, it means you're positioning yourself to be a peacemaker. You don't have to agree with everything that's being said, but you do need to show understanding. Let me guide your heart as you listen to each side. I will give you the wisdom to see the bigger picture, to understand the motivations behind people's words and actions. There will come a time when you need to speak, but when you do, speak with love and truth. Don't be afraid to share your heart, but do so in a way that builds bridges rather than burns them. This controversy is not just an obstacle, it's an opportunity for growth and healing. The conversations that arise from it, though painful, can lead to deeper connections within your family if handled with grace. Trust that I am guiding your words and your actions. If you believe that God is calling you to be a peacemaker in this situation, write 932 and declare your trust in His wisdom. This family controversy is going to reveal hidden tensions that have been building for a long time. Some of these issues have nothing to do with you, but they are coming to the surface now because the pressure has finally reached a breaking point. Your name may be caught in the middle of it, but remember, the real conflict isn't about you. It's about unresolved issues that have been bubbling beneath the surface for years. I need you to see this from a higher perspective. The frustration that others are expressing may seem directed at you, but in reality, it's about much more than what you did or didn't do. It's about their own hurts, their own disappointments, and their own unspoken fears. I want you to keep this in mind as you navigate the conversations that are coming. It's easy to react defensively when you feel attacked, but I'm asking you to respond with grace. Let me handle the deeper issues at play. I know that you may feel overwhelmed by what's happening, but I want you to lean into me. I am your refuge in the storm. When emotions rise and words become heated, you can always find peace in my presence. Come to me with your frustrations, your fears, and your questions. I am listening, 
and I will give you the strength to face this controversy with courage and wisdom. You don't have to face this alone, I am with you, and I am guiding you. There will be moments when you feel misunderstood, and that's okay. Not everyone will understand your heart or your intentions, but I do. You don't need to explain yourself to everyone. Instead, let your actions speak louder than your words. Show love, show patience, and show understanding. Over time, your actions will speak volumes, and people will see the truth of who you are. Trust that I am working behind the scenes even when it feels like everything is falling apart. This controversy will bring to light things that need to be addressed, both in your heart and in the hearts of others. Don't shy away from the difficult conversations. They are necessary for healing to take place. But as you engage in these conversations, remember to approach them with love and truth. I am with you giving you the words to say and the wisdom to know when to speak and when to listen. You are not walking this road alone. If you believe that God is working behind the scenes in this situation, write 843 and rest in his perfect timing. The controversy may stir up old wounds, both in you and in others. Things that you thought were forgotten or resolved may come back to the surface, and it may feel overwhelming. But I want you to see this as an opportunity for healing. I am bringing these things to the surface so that they can be dealt with once and for all. Don't run from the pain, it's part of the process. I will walk with you through it, and on the other side, you will find freedom. Some of the things that are said during this controversy may hurt you deeply. Words can be sharp, and in moments of anger, people may say things they don't truly mean. I want you to remember that your worth is not determined by the opinions of others. Your identity is secure in me. I know who you are and no accusation, no criticism and no misunderstanding can change that. Let my voice be louder than the voices of those who seek to tear you down. There will be moments when you feel the urge to defend yourself, to explain why you didn't act or why you remained silent. But before you respond, I want you to pause and seek my wisdom. Sometimes, the most powerful thing you can do is to remain silent and let me fight for you. There is a time to speak and a time to be silent. I will guide you in knowing when to do each. Trust me to handle the things you cannot control. This controversy is not just about resolving the immediate conflict it's about bringing lasting healing to your family. The issues that are being brought to light have been simmering for a long time and now they are coming to the surface so that they can be healed. This won't happen overnight, but every conversation, every act of forgiveness, and every moment of grace is a step toward healing. I am working in the hearts of everyone involved, even when you can't see it yet. I want you to keep your heart soft, even when others may harden theirs. It's easy to become defensive or bitter when you feel attacked, but I am calling you to rise above that. Keep your heart open to love, to understanding, and to grace. The enemy would love for this controversy to cause division, but I am turning it into an opportunity for unity. It won't be easy, but with my guidance, healing will come. If you believe that God is bringing healing through this controversy, write 518 and declare your faith in his plan for your family. This situation may feel messy, but I am right in the middle of it. Trust that I am working for your good, even in the chaos. I know that right now, it feels like you're walking through a storm, with your name being pulled into a controversy you didn't expect. The chaos surrounding you may make it seem like everything is falling apart, but I need you to remember that I am holding all the pieces together. Even when it feels like things are out of control, I am still in control. Nothing about this situation surprises me, and I am already working behind the scenes to bring peace and resolution. This controversy will bring up emotions you didn't anticipate, frustration, hurt, maybe even anger. 
but I'm asking you to not let those emotions take over. Bring them to me. You don't have to carry this burden alone. I see the way you're feeling, the sense of injustice and frustration that comes with being misunderstood or blamed for something you didn't do. But trust me, I am your defender. I will clear your name in the right time, in the right way. You may feel like you've been unfairly caught in the crossfire, but know that I have a purpose in everything. Even when others accuse you or speak out of turn, I will use this moment for your growth. This isn't just about resolving a family conflict, this is about deepening your character, strengthening your faith, and allowing me to shape you into someone who can stand firm even in the midst of misunderstanding. I am using this to refine you. The controversy will stir up difficult conversations, and there will be times when you feel overwhelmed by what's said. Words can hurt, but I want you to be slow to anger and slow to speak. I know you may feel the need to defend yourself, but I am asking you to wait. Let me guide your responses. When the time comes to speak, I will give you the words that will bring peace rather than add fuel to the fire. Your words, rooted in my love and wisdom, will have the power to diffuse tension. This could lead to a turning point in your family. While the controversy may feel painful now, it's opening the door for deeper understanding and healing. I know that it seems like everything is falling apart, but in reality, this is the moment where healing begins. The wounds that have been festering beneath the surface are finally coming into the light, and I am here to bring healing to those broken places. Trust that I am working in ways you can't see right now. If you believe that God is using this situation to strengthen you and bring healing to your family, write 849 and declare your trust in His timing. You might wonder why your name is involved, why you seem to be at the center of this storm. The truth is, sometimes conflict arises not because of what you did wrong, but because of what others are carrying inside them. Their frustrations, unresolved hurts, or unmet expectations can be projected onto you. It's important to remember that their reactions are more about them than they are about you. Don't take it personally, this is their pain surfacing, and they need healing just as much as you do. I am asking you to look at your family with eyes of compassion. I know it's hard to feel compassion when you're being hurt or misunderstood, but I want you to rise above the immediate emotions and see their hearts. They are carrying wounds, just like you, and this controversy is bringing them to the surface. Instead of reacting with frustration, I want you to respond with grace. I will give you the strength to do this, even when it feels impossible. This controversy could lead to reconciliation that you didn't even think was possible. There are fractures in your family relationships that have been there for years, and while this situation may seem to be making things worse, I am actually using it to heal what's been broken. The things that are being said now, the misunderstandings and accusations, are opening the door for honest conversations. These conversations, though hard, are necessary for true healing. I want you to be patient in this process. Healing doesn't happen overnight, and reconciliation takes time. It may feel like the conflict is dragging on longer than you'd like, but I am asking you to trust my timing. I am working on hearts, yours and theirs. I am softening the places that have been hardened by years of misunderstanding and hurt. Stay patient, stay prayerful, and stay open to what I am doing. You will see the fruit of this in time. There will be moments when you want to walk away from this situation entirely, to wash your hands of the conflict and avoid the pain. But I am asking you to stay engaged. Don't shut down or withdraw. You are part of this family for a reason, and your presence, your prayers, and your love are essential to the healing process. I know it's hard, but I am with you. Together, we will navigate this controversy, and together, we will bring healing where there was once division. 
If you believe that God is working on hearts and bringing healing to your family, write 912 and rest in his promise of reconciliation. Your name may be at the center of this controversy, but it's not your name that defines you, it's mine. You carry my name, and my name is greater than any accusation, any misunderstanding, or any conflict. I am the one who defends you, who clears your name, and who brings justice in due time. You don't need to strive to be understood by everyone around you. Instead, rest in the knowledge that I understand you completely, and that is enough. I see the bigger picture, the dynamics at play that others can't see. I see the hurts, the insecurities, and the fears that are fueling this controversy. Trust that I am not only working to bring peace to the situation but also healing to the deeper wounds within your family. This isn't just about resolving a surface level issue, it's about addressing the root causes that have been causing pain for far too long. As you continue to walk through this, I want you to focus on staying anchored in my peace. The enemy would love to use this situation to pull you into bitterness, anger, or fear, but I am calling you to remain steadfast in my love. My peace is a shield around you, protecting your heart from the fiery darts of accusations and misunderstandings. When the storm rages, come back to me. I am your safe place, your refuge in the chaos. This could lead to a moment of breakthrough, not just for you but for your entire family. The tension, the hurtful words, the misunderstandings, they are all part of a process that will lead to healing. But healing requires someone to take the first step toward reconciliation, and I am asking you to be that person. It won't be easy, but I will give you the strength and the courage to take that step. As you move forward in love, others will follow. You don't have to have all the answers right now. In fact, it's okay if you don't know exactly what to say or do. Just focus on staying connected to me, and I will guide you. I will give you the words when you need them, and I will show you the right time to speak. Trust that I am working through you, even when you feel unsure. You are not navigating this controversy alone, I am right here with you. If you believe that God is giving you the strength to take the first step toward reconciliation, write 731 and trust his guidance. The accusations, the tension, the misunderstandings, none of these things are bigger than my love. I am the one who holds your family together, even when it feels like things are falling apart. Don't let this controversy make you lose sight of the bigger picture. I am at work, and what feels like a mess right now will eventually become a testimony of my faithfulness and my ability to heal even the deepest wounds. Your name being involved in this controversy is not a sign of failure on your part. It's an opportunity for me to show my power in your life. You may have made mistakes, or you may have stayed silent when you should have spoken up, but I am not holding that against you. Instead, I am giving you the chance to grow from this, to learn how to navigate conflict with grace and wisdom. You are not defined by this controversy, you are defined by my love. As the conflict continues, I want you to keep praying for your family. Your prayers are powerful, more powerful than you realize. Every time you pray, you are inviting my spirit to work in the hearts of those involved. You may not see immediate changes, but trust that I am working. Prayer is your greatest weapon in this situation, use it. Pray for peace, for understanding, and for reconciliation. I am listening, and I am moving. This controversy, painful as it may be, is part of a bigger plan. I am using it to bring things to the surface that need to be addressed. The healing that will come from this will be deeper and more lasting than you can imagine. But you must stay the course, keep trusting me, and remain open to my leading. I am with you every step of the way, and I will not let you fall. You may not see the full picture yet, but I do. I see where this is going, 
and I am preparing the way for healing, for restoration, and for deeper connections within your family. The controversy may feel overwhelming now, but it is not the end. It is a doorway to something new, something better. Trust that I am guiding you, even when the path feels uncertain. If you believe that God is using this controversy to bring deeper healing and restoration, write 847 and declare your faith in His plan for your family. As you continue to walk through this, know that I am proud of the way you've handled yourself so far. You stay calm, you sought my wisdom, and you've remained open to my leading. This is not going unnoticed. I see your heart, your desire for peace, and your willingness to be a peacemaker even when it's hard. Keep going. You are on the right path, and I am with you every step of the way. This family controversy may seem like it's tearing things apart, but I want you to see it through my eyes. It is not the end, it's a new beginning. What was broken is being mended, what was hidden is being brought to light, and what was fractured is being restored. This is a process, and I am with you in every part of it. Trust me, and trust that I am working all things together for good. If you believe that God is working everything together for good, write 918 and rest in His promises for you and your family. I know that this controversy feels overwhelming, but remember, you are not walking through it alone. I am right here with you, guiding your steps and giving you strength. What feels like a burden is actually an opportunity for you to lean on me more deeply. I want you to bring every frustration, every hurt, and every fear to me. Let me carry the weight of this situation for you. You don't have to bear it all on your own. As things unfold, people may say things that are difficult to hear. Family members might bring up the past or point out things you didn't even know were an issue. But I want you to stay grounded in my truth. Their words don't define you, I do. Your identity is secure in me, no matter what accusations or misunderstandings arise. Keep your heart anchored in my love, and you'll find peace even in the midst of the storm. This controversy is going to expose some deeper issues that have been simmering beneath the surface for a long time. It may feel uncomfortable, but this is part of the process of healing. Just as a wound needs to be cleaned before it can heal properly, these unresolved issues need to come to light. It won't be easy, but I promise you, I am working through it all. What seems painful now will lead to peace later on. There may be moments when you feel tempted to walk away from this situation, to distance yourself from the conflict and the hurt. But I am calling you to stay engaged even when it's difficult. Your presence matters, and your willingness to stay in the conversation is crucial for healing. I will give you the grace and patience you need to walk through this. You are stronger than you think, and I am your source of strength. This controversy could lead to new levels of understanding and connection within your family. It's hard to see that now, but trust me. What feels like a breaking point can actually be the beginning of something beautiful. I am using this situation to break down walls that have been standing for too long. Healing and reconciliation are coming, but it starts with these tough moments. Stay open to what I'm doing, even when it feels messy. If you believe that God is turning this situation into an opportunity for deeper healing, write 729 and declare your trust in His process. There will be moments when emotions run high, and people might react in ways that hurt you. But I want you to remember that their reactions are not a reflection of you, they are a reflection of their own pain. People often lash out when they feel vulnerable or afraid, and I want you to keep this in mind as you navigate the conversations ahead. Respond with compassion, not defensiveness. I will give you the strength to love, even when it's hard. You don't have to have all the answers. It's okay if you're unsure of what to say or do next. The important thing is that you are present and open to my leading. When the time comes for you to speak, 
I will give you the words. You don't have to figure it all out on your own. Trust me to guide your responses, to give you wisdom, and to help you say the right thing at the right time. I am with you in every conversation. This could lead to a deeper understanding of yourself as well. As you walk through this controversy, I am refining you. I am showing you areas where you need to grow in patience, grace, and forgiveness. This situation isn't just about others, it's about your own heart too. Allow me to work in you, to shape you through this process. I am using this moment to mold you into the person I've called you to be. You might feel like you're being tested, and in many ways, you are. But this isn't a test meant to break you, it's a test designed to strengthen you. I am using this controversy to stretch your faith, to deepen your trust in me, and to teach you how to rely on my strength in the midst of difficulty. You're going to come out of this stronger, wiser, and more equipped to handle the challenges that lie ahead. The controversy may have started because of something you didn't do, but what you do now is what matters most. I am asking you to respond with love, with patience, and with a heart that is willing to seek peace even in the midst of conflict. The way you handle this situation will speak volumes to those around you. Your example of grace and faith will leave a lasting impact, not just on your family but on everyone who witnesses it. If you believe that God is using this controversy to refine and strengthen you, write 834 and stand firm in His promises for your life. There is a temptation in moments like these to focus on defending your reputation, but I want you to release that need. I am your defender, and I will clear your name in due time. Right now, I want you to focus on doing what's right in my eyes, not what pleases others. Let go of the pressure to explain yourself or to be understood by everyone. Your worth and identity are found in me, and nothing can take that away. Your role in this controversy is not to win arguments or to prove your point. Your role is to be a peacemaker, to bring light into a situation that feels clouded by misunderstanding and pain. I know that's not an easy task, but I am with you. You don't have to do this alone. As you walk in my peace, others will see it. Your calm, your patience, and your willingness to listen will speak louder than any argument ever could. This situation could lead to new beginnings in your family. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but sometimes the most difficult moments pave the way for transformation. Old patterns are being broken, old wounds are being exposed, and while it's painful, it's necessary for growth. I am asking you to trust the process. Healing often looks messy before it starts to look beautiful, but beauty is coming. You might be the one who has to initiate forgiveness, even if you feel like you're the one who's been wronged. Forgiveness is a powerful tool, and I want you to use it. It doesn't mean excusing hurtful behavior, but it does mean releasing bitterness and allowing me to heal your heart. When you forgive, you open the door for me to work in ways that you never thought possible. I am asking you to forgive, not just for their sake, but for yours. This controversy will not define you. It's just a moment in time, and it will pass. But what will last are the lessons you learn, the strength you gain, and the love you show. Your name may be involved in this controversy, but your name is written on my heart. Nothing can change that. You are mine, and I will carry you through this with grace, with strength, and with peace. If you believe that God is using this situation to write a new chapter of healing, write 917 and trust Him to guide every step of the way. As difficult as it is to face, this controversy is an invitation for you to draw closer to me. In the moments when you feel overwhelmed, come to me. I am your refuge and your strength, your ever-present help in times of trouble. You don't have to face this storm alone. I am right here, offering you peace, offering you rest, offering you the wisdom you need to navigate this situation. 
I know you're tired. Conflict is exhausting, especially when it involves those you love. But I want you to know that I am your source of renewal. When you feel drained, come to me and I will restore your soul. I will fill you with the strength to keep going even when you feel like giving up. You are not in this battle alone, I am fighting for you and with you. This could lead to a deeper faith. As you walk through this controversy, you begin to see more clearly how I work in the midst of chaos. You learn to trust me in ways you haven't before. The faith you are building now will serve you in future challenges, equipping you to handle whatever comes your way. You are growing, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. There are lessons in this moment that I want to teach you about patience, about forgiveness, and about grace. These lessons may be hard, but they are necessary. I am using this situation to stretch you, to refine you, and to help you grow in areas where you've been asking for growth. This is part of the answer to your prayers, even though it doesn't look like it at first. When this controversy is over, you will look back and see how I was with you in every step. You will see how I used what felt like a storm to bring about peace, healing, and growth. Trust that I am working, even when it's hard to see. Trust that I am using this for your good and the good of your family. I never waste anything, and I certainly won't waste this moment in your life. If you believe that God is using this controversy to strengthen your faith and teach you new lessons, write 816 and declare your trust in His plans. You are stronger than you think. I've placed my spirit within you, and that spirit gives you the power to face anything. Even when this controversy feels overwhelming, remember that you have everything you need in me. I am your strength, your wisdom, and your peace. Keep your eyes on me, and I will guide you through every conversation, every conflict, and every step of the way. This situation may feel chaotic now, but I am bringing order to it. What was once confusion and tension will become clarity and peace. Trust that I am working in ways you cannot see. Even when the situation looks hopeless, I am already at work, turning things around for your good. Keep walking in faith, keep praying, and keep believing that I am in control. You are not alone in this. I am with you, and I am guiding you. This controversy will pass, but the lessons you learn, the strength you gain, and the faith you develop will stay with you. Trust that I am using this moment to shape you, to strengthen you, and to bring healing to your family.